Good morning, caregivers. How are you today? I am still fighting a little bit of the cold, so if I sound a little foggy, that's why I'm drinking tea this morning. Today we're going to talk about memory loss. Do you know what the signs of memory loss are? And if you don't, don't go away because research now shows that the signs of memory loss happen 10 to 20 years before an actual diagnosis. <clears throat> There's also research that shows that older adults over the age of 85, let me take a quick sip of tea here. <clears throat> older adults over the age of 85, 50% of them have dementia but are undiagnosed. It's actually shocking, considering that the signs now start 10 to 20 years earlier. So how do you know? And why don't we notice that people have memory loss? Well, it's really quite simple. The first reason is that if you're an older adult, you probably don't notice the signs. You don't know how to recognize the signs. And if you don't have frequent contact with your family, they aren't recognizing the signs. And I'll share a story in a moment that gives a really good example of this. The other reasons that memory loss isn't diagnosed is that if you're healthy, you may not go see the doctor a lot. And if you do, it may not be for anything related to memory loss. And again, if you're not reporting to your doctor that you think that you have memory loss, they're not gonna check. The other reason is that general practitioners are not experts at diagnosing memory loss or dementia. That's better left to the specialists. And the last reason and the most obvious is None of us want to have a diagnosis of Alzheimer's or dementia. We're scared to death of it. So true story, I had a client years ago that I met through the police and adult protective services because she had a car accident. And I was introduced to her and started working with her. And I started to notice the first sign of memory loss, which is financial disorganization. She had stacks of mail piled on her kitchen table. She had sticky notes all over the kitchen, all over the house. And I, the first thing I figured out was that she had been taken advantage of by a roofing company. We had a hailstorm and you know the roofing companies come out of the woodwork and told her that she needed a whole new roof. She paid for it and she still had damage that wasn't repaired. <clears throat> the second thing I noticed was unpaid bills. She started getting all these notices in the mail about bills that weren't paid. And the scariest one was that her long-term care insurance had lapsed. She had forgotten to make the payment six months ago, which led me to take her to a doctor to obtain a diagnosis of dementia so that I could prove to the long-term care insurance company that she had memory loss and that was why she forgot to pay the premium and was actually able to get the policy reinstated. But all of these signs, so not noticing the signs, issues with managing money, which can and cannot be a sign. If you've never been able to manage money in your lifetime, not managing money may not be a sign for you. But forgetting conversations, sticky notes all over the house, things that you used to be able to do like that, that today you struggle with. So maybe before you were like the super organizer, you had lists, you never had an issue with anything. And today you're struggling with organization. Lack of organization is a sign of early memory loss. <clears throat> Excuse me. Other signs are forgetting to shower, forgetting to bathe, forgetting to change your clothes. You have a conversation with somebody and they answer and you ask the same question. So there's all kinds of signs of early memory loss and not Paying attention, ignoring it, isn't the answer because then we can't be proactive. It's similar with other diagnoses. Let's say that you have high blood pressure and you want to ignore it. Ignoring it is not going to stop the problems that will occur later. And as I talked about last week, high blood pressure actually is an indicator for dementia if it's not controlled because you have circulation issues. So high blood pressure uncontrolled over time can cause vascular dementia. I don't know if you saw my live video yesterday about power of attorney, but that is a way to be proactive about health. 
If you have signs of memory loss, please get tested. Go to your general practitioner, ask for a referral to a neurologist or a specialist, and that can help you be more proactive about your health today, have better health habits, plan for the future when memory loss becomes a huge concern. Because the old adage of, you know, don't tell, don't talk about it, it's not the answer. Being proactive is the answer. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help caregivers and aging parents solve caregiving problems. If there are any topics that you'd like me to talk about in videos, please post them in the comments. And do please comment and share your experiences. This is how we all become better caregivers together. I will see you in another video tomorrow. Have a great day.